Yahima says, how to say what bothers you to a new love without making them feel you are nagging? Well, you know, <clears throat> there are two things, two ways. There are two things involved when you want to say something. One is the content of what you're saying. One is the way the form, the content and the form. Always remember that. Sometimes you may say something that has got a beautiful content and is very meaningful and logical, but the way, the form that you develop, deliver it, say it, it's so maybe obnoxious or not caring or not kind or, you know, it just doesn't sit well on that person. Or sometimes the content is really not much. But the way it's presented is so lovely and so, um, you know, heartfelt and so wonderful and pleasant that it actually is accepted, even though the content is not much. It's like having a, you know, beautiful dish, uh, a food, well prepared, good quality, but delivered on a dirty tray or plate. It takes away from the wonderful content. And yet sometimes... It's not really that delicious food, but it's delivered in such beautiful <laughs> content that the person actually enjoys eating it because of the whole environment of it. So <clears throat> you need to understand that and <clears throat> gently and friendly ways, in a good tone, in a friendly and exploring way, not a condescending way, not antagonizing way, not, as you said, nagging way, just share your opinion and then that would be a good conversation as a conversation rather than as a decree <clears throat> as what you want to gain or say discuss it rather than say it tell it <clears throat>